The C-130's first flight was August 23rd of 1954. This particular 130 is a P model and it retired here at Moody Air Force Base. After it retired, they pushed it into the paint barn and they tried to paint it to replicate the C-130, but as you see, it turned a Smurf blue. Rumor has it that it had a bad mixture of paint. After they painted the aircraft, they took the wings off and they pulled it down the main drag here. If you look where the water tower is on the main drag, it came down there with no wings and pulled it into the air park, and then the maintainers assembled the wings on the 130. The price tag of the HC-130H is $30.1 million, and the price tag of the HC-130J is $62 million. The C-130 definitely is a workhorse of the Air Force. It has a uh, short takeoff and landing. It can land on dirt strips. This particular model right here was assigned to the 71st Rescue Squadron here at uh, Moody Air Force Base back in 97. The 71st Rescue Squadron is not the only squadron that flew 130s here at Moody Air Force Base. You also had the 52nd Airlift Squadron that was here back in the early 90s that flew the C-130. After they were deactivated here, the 71st moved up here from Patrick Air Force Base in 97 and became part of the 347th uh, Rescue Wing. The 41st Rescue Squadron also flew C-130s from 1966 up to 1987. The 71st Rescue Squadron started its journey at Emmendorf Air Force Base, Alaska on November 14, 1952. It was there until October 1st of 1991 when it moved to Patrick Air Force Base to join the 41st Rescue Squadron. One fun fact about the C-130 is a lot of people don't know this, that the previous commander here at Moody Air Force Base, Colonel Jennifer Short, was a C-130 navigator at Pope Air Force Base in the mid-90s. She then went on to fly the A-10 Thunderbolt II. There's another individual out there. It's Major Arthur Black. He was a pararescueman with the 38th Rescue Squadron when they were at Hamilton Air Force Base. Arthur Black was a POW during Vietnam. He was uh, only supposed to be there for 90 days and three days shy of leaving Vietnam. His aircraft, his H-3 Husky was shot down and he was a POW for seven and a half years. While he was in POW status, he was field commission as a lieutenant. He came back from the war, the Air Force recognized that field commission, and they sent him through um, C-130 pilot training, and he moved over to the 41st Rescue Squadron to become a C-130 pilot and an instructor, which he retired as a major in the Air Force. The 71st Rescue Squadron flew the HC-130 from 1970 up till 1987. And then in 1982, they flew the HC-130P up until 2012 when they got the HC-130J, the Combat King II. 